Well, I'm at the Honeywell stand and I'm uh, here with Derek. Derek, come in here. Uh, some hot news off the press. Yeah, we're very excited. One of our customers, Acorn Fire and Security, have come on the stand with an order for us for our new product we've just launched today. Wow, so did they actually come here with the idea already or have you actually sold it to them with your chariz charisma, with your charm? Oh, no, I was that lucky. No, it's um, <laughs> something we've been working on with us. Uh, they knew about the product early doors and they found a customer who wanted the product and they come come with an order for us today. We're very pleased. And what is the product? It's VEA, Vesta. V it's the addressable aspirating system, Vesta. Okay, great. And so who is the customer? This gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hi, hello. Hello, I'm hello Lauren. Hi. Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm Dave. Alex and Katie. Well, lovely to see you all. So, tell me, why are you why are you wanting to place this order? Uh, basically, it's uh, a brand new multi-million pound architect design house. Um, so, we had to come up with a special system that where detectors could not be seen. So, Extralis have brought this product out. So, we've put that in basically, interlinked that to a graphics package, and and that's just at the front door. And that's exactly what the architect wanted. So, this is a, a multi-million pound house that's being built in the UK. Yes. Are you allowed to say whereabouts? No. No, you can't even tell me which county? No. Is it someone famous? Russian money, what can we say? <laughs> and, uh, uh, is it for me? No. Uh, um, so, and this sort of thing, obviously, when you're spending millions of pounds on a property, I assume it's all about detail, you know, you, you don't want to have anything showing, you don't want to see the workings of the house. Yeah, absolutely, yes, yeah. And was the client very specific about that? Uh, very, very specific, yes, yeah. So basically there was no movement, there was nothing could be seen at all, so, yeah. And how, do, how does your system work then? How does that integrate with, so that's quite an interesting challenge, isn't it? From a design point of view, saying I don't want to see anything, but I need the house to be really functional and obviously to work. How do, how do you meet that challenge with your system? Well, basically um, we have a central box, which is the best of BEA, and attached to that you have a series of up to 40, 100 meter capillary tubes that are six mil each. And then basically that goes along in the void and then gets cut through where you would normally put a smoke detector in the space. So basically you have a central pump, so all the detection is done there, so there's nothing in the space at all. Now something like this can't be cheap. It's very cost effective. <laughs> That's a really good line. Okay, so not cheap. It's Unfortunately, it's not based on cost. The people want hidden detection and they want to have early, early warning. Vesta's the place to go and unfortunately that does have a cost of benefit to it. Well, also, I assume that if you're building a multi-million pound house, you've probably got works of art, you've got things that you need to protect so that you want to make sure the fire is put out very fast. Exactly. That's the whole point of Vesta, very early smoke detection apparatus. The idea is we detect the fire at its in infancy or its incipient stage and give the earliest possible warning of anything going on in the space. And how does it detect so quickly? It uses forward light scattery technology, so it looks for very, very small amounts of smoke, down to 0.003% obscuration per metre. So it's basically... You you could light a match in a room and it would go off. So it gives you that, that level of performance. Okay, so obviously there must be some safeguards built in in case you did light a match. Um, sort of. <laughs> um, the idea is the system would see that smoke. Um, if it's known going to be in the, in the risk, then that, that the alarm levels will be erased above that. But the, basically the system is commissioned to give the earliest possible warning. So if that someone's smoked in the room, it would go off. But then again, they, would, they wouldn't necessarily be in the room smoking in the first place. No, they're, Sorry, probably, not, yes, really. they're probably not allowed to anyway. No. So, exciting moment for you. I'm oh, very pleased. Yeah, I'm very, we've been working with Acorn for a number of years. We're very excited. This is one of our first orders for VEA. So, and they've kindly come to the stands to present me with my commission. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Dave. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks very much. So, in your hand, you have a... a I know, you can't read that, but you have, a, you have an order. I have, yes, very pleased. My, my wife and children will be happy with the commission. <laughs> well, I'm always open to bribes. I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, hey, I'll get some money out for you. <laughs> Derek, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much to all of you as well. And uh, good luck with the system. Thank you.